Hey folks, this is the problem similar to the one that Brandon and Shanda uh, were talking about in the discussion tonight. And uh, Brandon showed you the results of doing it using PHStat. And I thought I would just take a, a minute here or so and just show you how it's actually done using PHStat. Because we have the raw data, that's what I'm trying to say, even for quizzes and exams, if you've got raw data like this, you will have this little icon and you can open it in StatCrunch or Excel. On my uh, browser, it downloads it and then I need to open it up, enable it be active there. And here we have our, our data. So we want to run it using PHStat and it's a one sample test. It's a z-test for the mean, and we were given sigma, so sigma is known. And we open up this uh, dialog box, and I'm going to have to cheat here for a second so I can remember. The uh, null is um, 85,000, and it's a upper or right tail test, 85,000. So we go back over here. Our null hypothesis is 85,000. I'm going to go ahead and click that to remember upper tail. Our level of significance is 0 0.08. And our population standard deviation, let me check that again, is 7,200. So I put that in there, 7,200. Now we have uh, either to put in the sample statistics which we don't know but we've got the raw data and it'll calculate those so we need to select that we don't have a label in the first cell so I'm going to unselect that and then either click on that little icon at any rate uh, make sure you've got the blinking cursor in the entry there I'm going to highlight that range hit enter. Now we've got our data again at upper tail test. I want to click OK and here we have our results. Um, the blue again is the data that we input. White are intermediate calculations and yellow are the output that we're interested in. We've got our standardized test statistic of 1.65 which I think that was the answer um, that uh, was in my stat lab. Yeah, 1.65. We've got a p-value of 0.05 when you round it, and that is the answer there. And of course, it's reject the null hypothesis. So that's how quick you can do it uh, using pH stat.